hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all having a lovely day today today i'm gonna be unbagging my ipsy glam bag for the month of january right here i feel like it's been a minute a few months since i um did any kind of videos with this bag and i'm so happy to be back with them but if you guys want to see what i got in my little bag this month then just keep on watching so i went on vacation i keep saying it but i canceled everything and i didn't get my glam bag for december um so this month i was really excited to get to get it because last month i missed out anyway uh we'll see by the end of this video how i feel because i don't really remember everything that i got in my little bag but me personally i feel like overall this little bag is one of the best to be subscribed to because i get so many awesome products in this tiny little bag like i i i'm surprised a lot of the times i'm very pleased for the most part because i feel like i expect the least from this bag but i always end up being impressed anyway uh this is the bag this month and i love it it's so beautiful so it is a tie-dye theme and i think it's a really pretty bag and let me open it up to see the little card so this month's theme for ipsy is happy vibes which i'm all about happy vibes everybody being happy so it says this month and year make time for the things that make you smile love it okay so i do always like to share with you guys the options that i get to choose from so i always like record when i choose because i feel like it's fun to talk about um for this little bag specifically ipsy gives you a lot of different products to choose from so i have the option of choosing the tatcha the D deep cleanse gentle exfoliating cleanser tart shape tape uh, creamy concealer and light medium origins ginseng oil free energy boosting gel moisturizer the first day beauty ultra repair cream uh, Sophia Mabel Extreme Volume Mascara in Black, Honey Jarrett Lip Sleeping Mask in Lemon Honey, Lottie London AM to PM Retractable Liner in Velvet, Rose and Quartz Hair Mask, um, as well as the Polar Polar Night Revitalizing Elixir, Nana Glacial Oceanic Clay Mask, Elena Badro uh, Blending Brush, Essence Herb, Essence Herb maybe Black Tea Peeling Gel. So I feel like a lot of different options. I had to choose something that I know I'm gonna love and need, like I desperately need this during the winter, but I feel like the options were great. So I went with my all-time favorite moisturizer, which is the First Day Beauty Ultra Repair Cream right here. This moisturizer is my favorite and my like most, one of my most used products of the winter. So this, I have extremely bad eczema and right now it's at the worst. I don't know if you can see, but my fingers, oh, you see like that redness? That's from like eczema, very dry. I use a lot of lotions. I try not to um, wash my hands too much, but I do dishes, I clean a lot. So my hands get extremely dry, my whole body, honestly. So I keep this around. I actually went ahead and bought the big size from Sephora last month and even my husband started getting dry skin and one day he came up to me and said hey my skin is like gonna peel off like give me something what kind of cream can I use so I put a little bit of this on him and he loved it and now he's keeping that for himself like he he's keeping that like in his whole little um desk area just because he needs it so I actually purchased another one so I'm happy to have gotten this because I know I need it it's gonna be used up in this household so maybe I can keep this like in my purse but I love this I recommend this to anyone who has dry skin I use this today on my makeup as well like before I apply my makeup because I feel like for my super dry skin I need to have like the most hydrating moisturizer and I love it anyway I'm talking too much I love this and I'm so happy that I was able to choose that through Ipsy and now let's go on to the items that they chose for me because with this little bag you only get to customize one of your products. Um, the next item in here uh, is from Grace and Stella and is the Say Hi to Hydration Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Serum. So I love how the whole theme so far has been hydration which is what I'm lacking the most. Um, so it says apply two to three drops over cleanse face and neck before creams. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Um, I know that anything with hyaluronic acid has been very recommended to me um, for my dry skin. So maybe I'll give that a go. But I don't want to open it because I do have a lot of serums and I don't get to use all of them. And I don't like having things open and then having them go bad. So I don't want to open it just in case, you know what I mean? But I love that it's travel friendly. So if I go anywhere and I travel, this will be the serum that maybe I take with me instead of one of my big ones. But that's really cool. Nice for my dry skin. Next, oh my god, I love it. Just the packaging alone, I haven't read it. But look how pretty. Just look how pretty this packaging is. And it matches the vibe entirely. So this is the IBY Beauty Sunkiss Glow Highlighter. I love this brand. 
and I love their like small products too. I have some of their big palettes and I also have some of their like um, travel size products and I, they have beautiful makeup. Their quality is amazing and their packaging. Like look at that again, please. Wow. So it's the Sunkist Glow. Okay, so this is their usual little compact um, packaging. I have a few of these and let's take a look inside. Wow, this is really, really pretty. So that's what it looks like. Very, very pretty and like my my type of highlighter. Uh, let me swatch it actually. Ooh, it feels very, very creamy. So it's very creamy. It swatched very, very nicely. Um, and it's like a champagne color. I hope that you can see. So it's like a champagne color and it's very nice and creamy. And I really like that. That's my type of highlighter. And I love these little compacts. I took a little one from Nomad Cosmetics that I got in this bag. Um, with me on vacation and it was my favorite it was so so tiny you can keep it in your purse and i just really appreciate these products i keep mentioning that but i feel like we need more of these kinds of products like travel size that you can take with you anywhere but i love that okay so next i got the clay mask it's a clay mask but is that the brand okay nana clay mask detox detox titan glacial oceanic clay oh i feel like that was one of the options yeah this gentle purifying mask is made with high concentrations of glacial oceanic clay, clay rich in 60 plus minerals. It softens and firms the skin, tightens pores, and removes excess oil all at the same time, leaving your skin feeling fresh and rejuvenated. Okay. So that sounds interesting. I'll keep that around. I have a lot of masks to try out, so I know I'm not going to get use out of this anytime soon, but I like getting different kinds of products, and these are really cool to also gift to people like if you have extra makeup and you're giving someone a gift like i have one last product here and it looks like it's a gloss this is the shades by shan uh gloss i guess so this is the shades by shan gloss in the shade erica and it is really 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 pretty it's like a champagne -y shade honestly it's not that dark like a nude shade but I do see like some gloss, some, some, um, but I do see some sparkle in there. There you go. Very, very pretty. I like everything that I got. I am very pleased this month, honestly. So I, so I honestly am very happy with, with what I got this month. I got the Ultra Repair Cream from um, First Day Beauty, this clay mask, hyaluronic acid serum, this beautiful gloss, and this gorgeous highlighter. So I think for $13, I feel like I got a great little bag. And I love these bags. I use them for everything. Like, I really enjoy these bags. When I went on vacation last month, I took a few of these bags. Like, even right now. I have a lot of lip products that I still haven't unpacked from my vacation that I packed into one of these old bags that I have. Uh, most of my makeup I divided into Ipsy bags, which is what I really enjoy that their bags are reusable and I feel like they're part of um, what you pay for every month. I use like five or six bags to take my makeup with me and it was awesome. But that's going to be the end of today's video, guys. Um, How did you feel about Ipsy this month, about the glam bag? Let me know in the comments. Did you get your bags yet? How do you feel about them? But thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. And I will see you guys in my next one. Enjoy the rest of the day, guys. Bye.